Daisies, it's your girl Daisy from Crazy Daisy checking in with you on this beautiful afternoon. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe. I mean, that's if you don't have commitment issues. <laughs> Let's take a moment to just align our chakras. <laughs> I want us to take a deep breath and inhale peace, prosperity, healing, and exhale war, stress, and trauma. All right, let's do this together, friends. Doesn't that feel good? I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, you know, I just feel like trauma is something that needs to be addressed. We are all taught to move through and past trauma as if it never existed. Unbeknownst to some, that plagues their very existence. And it's time for us to truly heal in order to move forward and raise the vibrations of the planet, right? I think it's time that we take the meaning or just the word crazy back. Crazy has such a negative connotation. I mean, we all know it. Crazy doesn't have to be a bad thing. In acknowledging that no one is perfect, we can help each other heal and be a little less crazy. Haven't we all had a crazy moment in our lives? A moment that caught us off guard, off balance? A moment where we were practically infants learning how to walk on our two feet again? And that's what mental illness is like. I personally know what it's like to suffer from severe depression and anxiety and I actively worked and am still working through my healing process. And I wanna share my journey with you all and hopefully help someone heal as well. I know all the barriers that I've gone through and how I've overcome them. And I am truly impressed and grateful for my experiences and how far I've come. I've really accomplished a lot in my lifetime and I am so grateful and thankful to the co-creators, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, just really take a moment to smell the roses and realize how far you've come, even though you may not feel like you've gotten anywhere. Almost one in five Americans experience mental health issues each year. Mental health disorders are easily becoming one of the leading causes of disabilities. It took me a while to initiate my healing process. You know, at first I, I struggled with acknowledging that these traumatic things happened to me and that I was feeling this way. I couldn't really speak to my family about it because it wasn't something that I think they were emotionally capable of handling and when I did it was just basically kind of like well that's what happened to you it's really painful you know and I think especially people who experience traumatic events in their childhood it pretty much taints you in a way where your perspective on people it gets a real it gets skewed pay attention to your stress management how busy are you? Are you taking time for your self-care? Reset. Listen to some music during your lunch break. Go for a little walk. You know, just if you could be out in nature like this, come join the club. Nature gang, gang gang. <laughs> That's one way. Another way is by meditating. I found this really helpful in my journey and I'm still learning a lot about meditation and it's just so relaxing for me. It doesn't work for everyone, right? Not everyone can sit in silence. So if that doesn't work for you, listen to a meditation soundtrack that has music or sounds like the ohm sounds, sounds that are associated with certain chakras if you're into that. If not, you can even do a simple meditation by taking a shower deep breathing just like what we did just now to start off this video just <sighs> breathing out all the stressors all the things that aren't serving you and your highest good get rid of that trash that <laughs> long walks like I said if you're able to do a 30 minute walk shoot even a 15 minute walk the third step is 
supportive network. If you're able to talk to your friends and family about these things that you're going through that are harming you or making you feel sad, reach out to them. You know, like we're our own worst critics when it comes to how we overanalyze things in our lives and maybe someone else in your life has a good resource for you to use or a good perspective that you can borrow and implement into your own life and modify as necessary. Those are good ways. And I know it's tough if you don't have someone that you can talk to in your family or in your friend group, then reach out to your guidance counselor if you're in school, find a therapist that works for you. There are different therapeutic modules out there. So do your research on the one that fits and suits you best. And if individual therapy doesn't work for you, the one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, enroll in group therapy. The fourth way to heal, exercise. Ah! Now I know it's not everyone's favorite thing to do, but hear me out. Have you ever noticed when you actually do exercise, you feel a lot better than when you walked in? Well, that's if you did it correctly. <laughs> So exercising can really help improve your mood by releasing dopamine, that good, that feel good chemical. We all like a little dopamine in our life. I know I like to feel good. How about you? If you like to feel good, I want you to type in the comments, feel good energy. We're actually going to feel good all day, every day. We're trying to heal. So we're trying to do that. But we all know that not every day is going to be a great day. It's not going to be a good day but you can change the way you saw that day. And last but not least, good diet. We need good foods in our life to fuel us. Good chemicals create good results. Where did I get that? I mean, I don't know, some scientists said it. <laughs> but no, what I really mean to say is eat well, eat a balanced diet, you know, eliminate greasy fast foods. I know, I like fried chicken too. But eating a well-balanced diet can really help aid in your healing process. I am so grateful that you stumbled upon my video today. We are gonna heal and we're gonna do it the right way together. And remember, you're not crazy. You're uniquely exuberant. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel hey <laughs> but no see if you don't have any commitment issues subscribe and check me out on my website www.crazydaisy.co all right i hope that you continue to make your day a beautiful day and heal from whatever it is that is slowing you down just know you're not alone all right, peace, blessings, and light to you all. Yeah, this so is the end of the video. Please subscribe and like. Daisy needs more likes. If she gets a million, she'll probably do one of the good, uh, the best videos you have ever seen. Okay, bye.